Chong. Ta Chong. Ta Chong. For the people of Shillong, a city of some 140,000 nestled in the hills of Meghalaya in India's far northeast, there could be no name more apt for their team than La Jong. In Kazi, the local dialect, it means our own. This city and the region in general is football mad and the passion translates into impressive attendances. In a country where domestic football is hardly ever top billing, home fixtures at the Nehru Stadium rarely attract less than 20,000. Lasing Ming Soyan is Shillong Lajong's chairman. Lajong started way back, uh, 30 years back in 1983, and it was my father and a group of friends who, uh, together one day after a football match uh, that they had gone to watch in the local stadium, uh, decided to uh, form this club and the whole uh, idea was to, to, to basically promote the local uh, youngsters from this region and form a team comprising of the local talent that is available here. It has been an organic growth. The first 20 years has largely been uh, you know the team growing from the local level then slowly graduating to the regional level and the real upward surge has primarily happened in the last 10 years when the club started focusing more, more on grassroots development, youth development, and it was the ba first batch of youngsters that came out of this program that basically took this team, this small little team, to the national level. And we finally uh, cracked the glass ceiling of Indian football in 2009, when a bunch of unknown players from one corner of India qualified for the, for the league, thereby uh, ensuring that North, the northeastern region of India had a participation for the first time in the National League of India. It was a baptism of fire. The club's first season in the I-League ended in relegation, but lessons were learned and the Zhong bounced straight back. They now find themselves looking to secure a third consecutive year in India's top division. We are still in the evolutionary process, but when you look at the budgets of the various teams in the I-League, we are still very much a minnow. Uh, our budgets are not very high and it is only through the support of the football loving people of this region that we hope to uh, grow year in and year out and, and, and build a team that hopefully as of today we might be the Bilbao of India and hopefully one day we can graduate to become the Barcelona of this country. Coach Tangboy Singtao has been involved with the club since 2009, starting out as an assistant before taking over full time in January of this year. He's a local man mindful of the passion football evokes here, and he realizes that increasing the professionalism of the setup is important. With the strong backing of owners as well as outside investors, it seems a base has been established to ensure this season ends in safety. I'm ready for the challenge, you know, because uh, I'm very happy. I have a I have a owner, I have a secretary, and I have the management who supports me personally, and definitely you know the team as a whole. Of course, uh, after I took over, you know, we've been draw drawing a lot of matches. You now, I mean, the onus on me personally as a coach is to you know change that and translate that into a win. So hopefully, you know, and take the team a notch higher in the in, in the league table. Mumbai FC were the visitors for the final home match of the season, with Lejong placed precariously above the drop zone. That didn't mean the fans had deserted them and another full house was ready to cheer them on. Renadi Singh, a Northeast native who's enjoyed a successful career playing for teams across India, is the captain. I think Shillong is the only place where in each and every match uh, so many people turn up. In Goa, 10-15 uh, years back, people used to come, but they're not anymore. In Calcutta, it's only in Derby, but here you will see each and every match, 20-25,000 people turning up. Cricket is number one in India, but then here in Shillong, it's, uh, football is number one. To be the best uh, in the in the I League, that's our dream. Yeah. Shillong were on the front foot from the off, pressing and probing a Mumbai team who were already sitting comfortably in mid-table. The breakthrough arrived in the 33rd minute. Japanese-born North Korean import Min Chol Son headed home to send the Nehru Stadium into raptures. The second half brought minimal respite for Mumbai. They had their keeper to thank after a string of acrobatic saves.
The three points were secured with a little over 10 minutes remaining. Sushil Singh, the scorer. Now, at the moment, the aim as a coach for me, for Shilong Jong, and for the fans and for the management, you know, everyone involved, is the immediate target. The most important thing is to keep Shilong Jong in I League, which I definitely believe uh, will do so. For me, I have always stressed what is written at the back, that is your name is not important. What is, what is important is the crest. So the club is the most important thing. Because ultimately, players, coaches will go, but the club will remain, you know, forever. And we are trying to, try working hard on the level, trying to keep the club in a pedestal, maybe trying to compete with the best club in India. So that's the target.